Hi guys, and welcome back to Leslie Through the Looking Glass. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Leslie. I'm so happy to have you. For our returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for coming back to support my channel. It really means so much to me. All right, guys, we are back with a Mental Health Monday video today. Um, yeah, so life's fine. <laughs> We're okay. We're chugging along. Um, Millie had her tooth out last week. Um, she did fantastic. So much tougher than I am. Um, it was quick, it was easy. I had a really good experience with the doctor this time. Um, so I could not have asked for a better outcome and better, you know, time there. Um, recovery wasn't too bad. The first day she was very out of it and groggy from the medications, but other than that, she was not super painful. Um, she did say she had a headache a couple times, but that was it. Um, and then the next day, she was pretty much back to normal, did complain of a little bit of pain, but again, minor, only when, you know, she'd go from playing and then all of a sudden be like, oh, it hurts, and then be back to running around. So, went great, so grateful for that. Um, this weekend, we celebrated a friend's baby shower, um, me and Amelia went to that. We celebrated my in-laws 40th wedding anniversary, so lots of like busyness, but good things, fun things. Um, doing great. I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I'm working through everything. Uh, I have had some like intrusive thinking and thoughts come in this week. Um, things that popped up out of nowhere. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the miscarriage um, the last week or so going into the holidays um, because thinking you know we would have a newborn right now and our holidays would look a little different as a family of four than a family of three. Um, yeah, so I've been dealing with that. Like, I'm okay. I'm not, you know, drowning in my grief um, by any means, but it does hit me in some waves here and there and makes me, you know, sad. Um, my birthday is next Monday. I usually love birthdays. This one is weird. <laughs> I'm always grateful for birthdays. I always love celebrating everybody's birthdays, not just my own. Um, I think it's great to celebrate another year given to us um, and that we're here to celebrate. I just, I'm having a hard time turning 39. I don't, you know, I don't know why. It's not like it's my last year, my 30s, I guess. Um, I thought our life was going to look different by this birthday and it's just, it's not. And it's okay. Um, but I think it's just, again, kind of that, like, chapter closing, door closing in my mind for whatever reason. Like, 30s are coming to an end. And it's just, like, a little little different this year for me. Um, I did this once before um, on my 25th birthday. I think I had kind of a hard time with it, <laughs> um, which is silly because whatever but yeah I don't know I'm a little a little less excited than normal for my birthday um, I usually drive everybody crazy wanting to do all the things so um, I'm sure you know I'm sure all my thoughts will be I'm working on reframing I guess is the best way to put it um, instead of thinking like this is my last year in my 30s i'm still in my 30s you know working on trying to reframe my negative thoughts to positive that's been a big thing um lately um acceptance of things not so much like of things happening but of my reactions my feelings my personality like accepting that i'm enough um and that not you know it's okay if not everybody likes that version of me. Um, stuff like that. So, um, I am working on it, right? And that's all we can do. It's always a work in progress. We always just keep doing things to try to um, move forward and do better. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Sorry, there's a loud truck driving down my road, like a delivery truck. Um, I I don't have a lot today, guys. That's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I I'm 
fidgeting a lot again today. Um, and I don't feel as anxious as last time. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying not to be, um, I'm trying to not let the negative thoughts win, if that makes sense. Um, when I have them and I realize I'm being negative, I'm working really hard on reframing them. Um, I will say that it's getting a lot easier for me than it used to be. That used to be a really hard thing for me. Um, my husband would always be like, why are you so negative about everything all the time? Um, and I, I never felt like I was that negative. Um, so for me, like that's just my natural thoughts. And that's been like something that was very eye-opening to me um, and something I brought up during therapy and stuff like that and so you know we talked about reframing thoughts focusing on the positive like saying them writing them down whatever you need to do to like keep them active in your brain um, and it's funny because I will say this community um, YouTube and Instagram like the people I've connected with I swear there's like a weird connection between some of us that they have no idea. Um, my friend Nicholas over at the Disney Marts the other day posted a thing that was like, tell me something you love about yourself or that you like about yourself or whatever um, in his stories for people to just write their things and then he was posting them to his stories. And I was um, really working on this, like reframing my thoughts and everything and like that was what it was. Um, and it was just a good reminder to, you know, what's, you know, put, that's what I want all of you guys to do. Anybody who's watching this video and has made it this far, put in the comments down below, what is one thing that you're like proud of yourself for, or that you like about yourself? Um, because it's so important to make sure we celebrate the positives and focus on those more than the negatives. And it's something I have struggled with for a very long time, like to the point where I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so I definitely, you know, think that, um, is a great reminder and like he didn't know I was going through that but like that little tiny thing that you know it really helped me kind of reset my brain and my thought process to remind myself to continue doing that um, so yeah I don't know that's all I got guys it's hard it's hard to reframe your thoughts especially when you've been doing it for so long um, like I said if you're newer and you don't know like my full scope of my journey because I know there are some new followers here um, or subscribers I thought it was just postpartum anxiety that I get you know that's what I was diagnosed with initially um, and I thought that's all it was and then looking back it's been going on for so long um, and these thoughts and this like negative my like way of mind the negative way of thinking that my mind like plays tricks on me with has been happening for so long um, but I've never looked at myself as a negative person. Um, so it's been a challenge, but I feel like I'm doing a lot better on it. Um, I still need to vent and do my things, but yeah, you know, um, so I, that's my challenge too, going into the holidays because the holidays can be very stressful. I love the holidays, but I get overwhelmed sometimes the last couple years. Um, cause you just like the parent aspect, you just want to make it so special for your kids. Um, from the family aspect, you're trying to fit in so much with all the different families and do all the things um, while still making time to enjoy it. So it can be really stressful and I know a lot of people get really anxious during the holidays. So um, try to maybe reframe your thinking. Like uh, not, oh, I have to go to dinners on Thanksgiving. Be like, I get to celebrate Thanksgiving twice with two sets of great people. Stuff like that. It can be really hard. It doesn't always work but it really has helped me a lot and it might help you too. Um, but that's basically all I wanted to touch base about today, guys, um, because I think it's just a really important thing. And I think going into the holidays, it's a good reminder. Um, so I just wanted to kind of share an update where I was at and what was going on with me. Um, coming into this week, my schedule won't really change um, with the holidays since I don't usually post on Thursday. Um, I will have a Mickey Lou unboxing this weekend. I had to think what I was going to be putting up Saturday. Um, and I think a lounge flight unboxing, um, that I'm going to combine the two videos, um, as like my birthday video. 
and then Monday will be Mental Health Monday with a twist. It's going to be kind of my introduction into Vlogmas. Um, I will go more in depth, but I'm going to be doing a very like different type of Vlogmas than what I've seen in the community. Um, I will still have my swaps as normal, I, which is why I'm starting this at the end of November and not December because I do have some like pre-scheduled content coming up with you guys, for you guys. Um, I'm also still going to do my Mental Health Monday segment because I think with the holidays um, and so much going on, I'll have, you know, I want to share my, you know, thoughts and tips with you guys. Um, so I'll still do Mental Health Monday every Monday, but um, at the beginning of the video, I'll do like my Vlogmas little segment and then go into the rest of it. Um, but I'm just going to be showcasing other YouTubers and maybe some people on Instagram that aren't on YouTube um, that I really enjoy and do different things well and just kind of share why I like them so much and, you know, how they've influenced me or inspired me um, and that kind of thing. So I'll go into detail on that next Monday. But um, that's what I'm going to do to, like, kick off Vlogmas slash my birthday is share some joy of other channels that maybe you guys don't know, maybe you do. Um, yeah, and that's it. All right, guys, so comment down below what is something you are proud of yourself for or that you really is like a positive quality for you and you're proud of in the comments down below. If you're not already subscribed, please consider it hitting the subscribe button next, and next to it, the bell notification so you're alerted every post every time I post new content. Ah, oh, can't talk today, guys. Um, and if you don't mind giving it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great week and a happy Thanksgiving. I will see you on Saturday. Um, bye, guys. Have a good week.